So uh, today, funny guy appeared while I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus, and he had this broken ass infinite life combo. And I decided, you know, how far can this go? And at one point, he actually got tired and actually let me play. And this is the story of standing up to your Yu-Gi-Oh! bullies. Let's take a look. So, here he is. Here he is. Doing the combo, just uh, one snake summons the other, gets uh, 200, 2,500 life points for every punch. And he's already all the way up to um, the big thousands, as you can see. So, this is just keep going forever and I'm just here thinking, oh, he's waiting for me to quit. But that ain't gonna happen. I'm just gonna stay here, I said. I'm just gonna stay here and wait for him to tire over. Either he quit or... You know, let me play. What does this card do? I say to myself. And I'm thinking, oh, this is another searcher. Yeah, I'm not gonna let that happen. Bye bye. So now it's my turn. And the first thing is, I wanna figure out how the combo is. And I'm playing my Cleaford deck. So I just go, summon my Cleaford. And I'm thinking, maybe I can, you know, summon or something, but not a good idea. So I just go into battle phase instead. I see. I attack, and here it is. Wait for it. Come on. There you go. Infinite loop. It just brings up an impenetrable wall of defense. Every time you kill one, it comes out another one. So yeah, I thought, alright, so beating it to death, it's just not gonna work. I need another strat. So I go for the... <coughs> I think I go for... No, I just go for turn. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I just go for turn. Turn this guy, he has nothing in his hand. It's my turn again. And I pulled Towers, the boss monster of my deck. So Towers hits the field. And then I'm thinking, alright, what can I do here? Maybe I can just activate all the effects in my hand. Maybe something will fucking work, you know? I'm still learning Clifford, so I don't know all the effects of the cards. I accidentally activated Helix, which brings a card from my field oh, to no. my hand. But then this guy figures out something. Oh no! That also brings something from his field to his hand, which means the combo is broken. <laughs> so without anything, without thinking too hard, I just think, okay, I'll just bring Scout. I can put it again, no problem. I'll bring another Scout with uh, Sacrifice. And I go activate Scout again, and the combo is already broken here. I think, okay, Scout, I'll bring something else. I'll bring another Scout just in case. So, here we go, we just uh, Pendulum Summon on this one. Uh, Master Rule 5 allows you only to Pendulum Summon from the Extra Deck Zone to the Linked Up sections. So, no Infinite Summons, by the way. That's uh, the reason why you cannot summon everything from the Extra Deck. So, I go for Genius, you know, just uh, so I can give myself a little bit more room here. And I activate the effect of towers with the hope that he just throws something in the garbage that fucks him over. And he just did that. No. Snakes, both snakes are on the fucking garbage wheel and he's already... He already knows he just lost. No. <laughs> the reactions. I just go for battle and I'm thinking, alright, I got 27 on the deck. I have enough turns to fuck him over, you know. Uh, 107,000 life points, doable. No problem. Okay, I already delete this deck. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. I, I got bored deck. already. Um, he told me in chat before I started recording that this guy uh, found his deck on a fucking LMAO. And he just tried to pull a door of darkness in that part, but he ain't got no monster, so his hand is just fucked. And I'm just going for summons now. I'm just trying to get as much bit stick as I can on the field so I can take care of those 107,000 life points. So yeah. I go for as many summons as I can. Uh, you can still Penuel summon as many as you want from your hand. Not from your extra deck again, but yes, from your hand. So yeah, let's go for battle, you know, a bunch of beat sticks, go forward.
I still can see maybe I can activate the effect of Scout, but I'm thinking, no, right now I have enough monsters on the field to keep him for a while. He passes turn because he draws garbage pretty much. I'm thinking, all right, let's just up the beat stick game a little bit, you know? Uh, because if you summon a Cleefort, uh, if you special summon a Cleefort, or if you just uh, normal summon it without paying tributes, it loses a thousand points. So I'm thinking, all right, more beat sticks into the field. No problem. Let's go. So the effect of Cleefort's stealth is that uh, something gets targeted and goes back to your hand. So again, I just choose scout. There we go. No problem. So at this point I'm just thinking, alright, how can I get more bit sticks into my hand? I activate Scout, pay 800, and I pull, I think, Shell to my hand? Yes, I do. Alright, I pull Shell to my hand, and then I'm just trying to, again, get as much bit stick power in the field as possible. I go again for battle, and I just go again. At this point, this guy already realized what I'm doing. Um, for every turn I have, for every turn that passes, I am at least getting close to 10,000 uh, attack in. So he's just trying to, he's, he's just panicking at this point. <laughs> I go again for the effect of towers and I'm thinking, alright, I'm just gonna fuck your hand. No cards for you, every turn, every single card you draw is going to the garbage bin. Alas, uh, for, for some reason, I, I, the, the effect of towers didn't work, so I don't know why, but still, it's still good. He passes turn again, and he's thinking, all right, let's just keep summoning monsters, no problem. You know, let's just get more, let's just get another Clifford Stell on the field. And right at this point, I'm thinking, all right, just gonna get more bit sticks, and then boom, surrender. Never let them Yu-Gi-Oh bullies get away with it. If somebody plays Mystic Mine against you, if somebody plays some bullshit strat against you, just stick with it. Because quitting is for bitches.